If you want people to watch your video, or if you want someone to buy your product, you must include one of these two things. Your content must either speak to a problem or a promise. It must show your audience clearly and quickly how it's going to change their situation by either eliminating a problem or by offering them more through a promise. Okay, so let's get into the why. This is evolutionary psychology 101. We are hardwired to only care about if something is going to hurt us, the problem, or if something is going to help us, the promise. Or another way to look at this is, will it bring us pain or pleasure? And ultimately, those two things are all we really care about as humans. Now, why is that? That's because it takes and costs us energy. It genuinely burns calories for us to process information. So back in our caveman days, we became really skilled, really adept at quickly understanding if something was worth our time and energy, if the information or stimuli or cues out there in the woods and in the wilderness was enough to grab our attention by understanding very quickly if it would help us or hurt us. So for example, a little Tweety Bird off in the bushes, not gonna help us or hurt us, we don't even register that sound. However, if it's the growl or the rumble of a bear in the bushes, well, that's an immediate threat and we would register that and we would react accordingly. Now, a promise works really well for people. An example of that would be like, here's how you're going to get your dream job. And people have aspirations and they have goals and they have dreams, so they respond really well to that. However, according to something called prospect theory, we are more averse to loss which is why sometimes humans make bad decisions or wait too long to sell a stock because we don't want to realize that loss and we'll hold on too long. Sometimes it clouds our judgment and we make bad decisions because of that. So if you can speak to a problem, it will resonate even more so with that audience. An example of that would be like, here's how to make sure your business is recession proof, right? We all know that the economy is tanking and layoffs are happening left and right. And so understanding how to prevent that problem from happening to your small business would be something that people would Care about quite a bit. But here is the final kicker. The problem and the promise are two sides of the same coin. They are inherently tied together. So if you communicate to your audience in a way that conveys both of them in your messaging, in your content, now you are hitting them right in the spot where they need to get moved emotionally so they can be inspired to take action. That means watch your video, buy your product, download your PDF, whatever action you want them to take. So for example, dig yourself out of debt and retire early using this simple investing strategy. So you're talking to and speaking to the problem, which is to dig yourself out of debt, which a lot of us can understand, a lot of us are into debt, but you're also showing them the potential promise to retire early. So it's not only dig yourself out of debt, which would be enough to motivate a lot of people, and it's not only retire early and live your dream life or whatever, which also might be enough on its own, but now you're showing them both. And then you tell them it's a simple investing strategy well now they have leaned in because you've gotten their attention with the problem and the promise and now they want to know how it's possible and you're like well i'm so glad you asked here is the solution so in any of your content no matter what action you're trying to inspire people to take keep it simple go all the way back to the basics in our evolutionary psychology and what we as humans care about emotionally and use a storytelling model to communicate to those fears or to those aspirations by making sure you address a problem or a promise in your content hope this helps